today we're going to go to the out yard. Uh, it's late August and we need to check on the hives, uh, do a summer inspection. I've been out of the country for uh, half a month uh, on vacation this time. And just before we left, there was a nice honey flow. I want to check to see if there's been a honey flow since. Make sure the bees aren't starving. In Texas, sometimes you have a dearth in the droughts. And we want to make sure they've got food, they've got pollen. And also, I want to show you guys some nice tips and tricks that we've learned in the last six months. Uh, some things I borrowed from my camping. Uh, one is about uh, a solar water uh, shower, which... Uh, it's great for cooling yourself down, washing off sweat off of you, but more importantly, washing your hands and your tools. And I think that about sums that up, so let's get to it. All right, folks, here's another tip we've learned, is if you've got to pick up, bring a piece of tile with you. I throw it down, and I can put my smoker on there so it doesn't burn a ring in the tailgate of my truck. It's a good tip. I recommend it heavily. Okay, so another really nice little tip is for feeding, for out, outside feeding, we, get a, we go buy a pickle jar and then on the pickle jar you're going to poke small holes. Let's kick you over into macro mode. You're going to poke very small holes. You can see through it to daylight. All right, so you poke these small holes, very tiny, not huge ones, just a little tip of the nail. Put it back on tight. When you flip it, it's good to flip it fast so that you get a suction going on under there. And you put it, come pick up the camera and show them, Frank. Put it between two sticks. The other trick is to make sure that the sticks are not touching any particular hole. So what we have now is we have a jar that is for feeding. And if you put this inside your hive, above your inner cover if you have one, this won't really work for top bar hives, it's too tall. But you put a deep over this thing and you wind up with the ability to feed your, your hives outside in a central feeding area. You need to be more than 50 feet from your hives, which I am. This is a, a dead out we're on. And you're going to leave it and come back in probably about three days. If they're taking feed, it'll be finished. So we're going to leave this and I'll be back later. So today a few little tips and tricks. One thing I, we found out that for Texas or other places with really hot weather when you're doing beekeeping, is these uh, Coleman solar showers. What they are, they're designed to be hung off a tree branch. You can open up the valve and you've got a shower going on, which is great when you're wanting to wash your hands, wash your tools. Also, if you're in an out yard, they're great to carry with you because you get really hot and sweaty after a while and you want to cool yourself down. You just dunk your head in there and you get your uh, bee suit wet to get some of the, the sweat off of you. And it's a great tool. So again, th these are the Coleman solar showers. The trick is you don't want them hot because this is summer. So you don't put them like the instruction says in the bed of your truck or out in the sun to heat up. You just want to fill them with cold water and hang them off a branch. And it's really, really nice. Again, how this stuff works, you open up the shower head and you get a nice sprinkling of water. Gravity fed, really handy. It holds about four or five gallons, and it lasts a long, long time. Now, let's do some beekeeping. Okay, boys and girls, this is about a bit of brilliance. This bit of brilliance is what Frank did. Notice this entrance for top bar hives. Three bent nails, one piece of wood, with nail holes. To close the hive entirely up, you're there. It's hung by three nails. To close the hive up to just one entrance, you're there. To close the hive up to two entrance, you're there. And to close 
the hive to open the hive up all the way you're there again you just space your nails just so you can figure this out based upon what we've got here and I'll show you this from above all right Brilliant, brilliant opening. I cannot take credit for this. Well, yeah, I could, but it wouldn't be fair. This is a Frank Zago invention, as best I can tell. And it's designed for having three openings to a hive. So today we did a couple of inspections, but we also showed you a lot of interesting tips and tricks that we found out, uh, and especially the uh, the shower the portable camp, camp shower is a wonderful piece of uh, addition from the out yard I'll put a link where to get it down below and uh, if I can talk Frank into it I'll get him to make a diagram of his nifty uh, Zago opener with that said uh, good luck good beekeeping I hope you live somewhere cool <laughs>